As the violence continues in Syria, fighting has spread to other areas in the region. In northern Lebanon, fighting shook two neighborhoods in the city of Tripoli over the weekend, and militiamen are preparing for a worsening confrontation. FSRN's David Enders reports. Bab al Tabana and Jebel Mosin are two of the most neglected neighborhoods in Tripoli and well known for sectarian tension. The men in Bab al Tabana are predominantly Sunni Muslim and support the Free Syrian Army, the loose coalition of rebels and army defectors fighting the government of Syrian President Bashar al Assad. Jebel Mosin is predominantly Alawite, the Shia Muslim sect to which Assad and most of his inner circle belong. The clashes in neighboring Syria have exacerbated the long standing animosity between these two neighborhoods. Two days of clashes began Friday and left three civilians dead and two dozen people wounded, including members of the Lebanese army who were deployed to the area but appeared to do little to quell the violence. In Jebel Mosin on Sunday, tensions remained high as men crowded around a reporter on a street dotted with posters of Assad, chanting, With our blood, our soul, we fight for you, Bashar. A few hours before that, Men from Bab al-Tabana marched through central Tripoli, carrying the body of a young man killed in the clashes and firing guns in the air. This is not the first round of fighting between the neighborhoods, whose conflict dates to at least the 1970s and the Syrian army's invasion of Lebanon during the Lebanese Civil War. Militiamen and local leaders in Bab al-Tabana said the violence stretches back to a massacre of hundreds in the neighborhood in the 1980s, when the Syrian military occupied Lebanon. After his building was hit by rockets and sniper fire on Friday, Mohammed Ahmed Taibe retreated to the basement with his family, as he has done many times in the past. His nephew was killed during another round of fighting seven months ago. Recently it's gotten worse. Where are they getting these weapons? If we were a little afraid before, now we are very afraid. We want the army to stop this, even if it means attacking the people who are fighting. The militiamen in Bab al-Tabana openly voiced their animosity toward Hezbollah, the Lebanese Shia militia and political party that is allied with Assad. Some Syrians have accused Hezbollah of helping Assad's violent crackdown during the 11-month uprising. Hezbollah, which has leveraged more than two decades of armed resistance against Israeli aggression in Lebanon into political clout, now finds its relationship to its Syrian patrons more polarizing than perhaps ever before. The views of the men on the street are shared by members of Lebanon's parliament. Rafat Eid, a member of parliament from the Arab Socialist Party, which is allied with Hezbollah, denied militiamen from Jebel Mosin had taken part in the fighting, but did agree that the violence was related to the Syrian uprising. He echoed the rhetoric of Assad, claiming that terrorist groups have been attacking the Syrian government. He blamed the violence on the March 14th coalition, a group of Lebanese political parties named for the large demonstrations in Lebanon in 2005 that preceded the end of nearly 30 years of Syrian occupation. Yeah, what happened from uh, two days, it's not from two days, it's from almost one week to ten days uh, when the Syrian army uh, want to take all Hamas and uh, relieve Hamas from all the terrorist groups that uh, killed all the citizens in Hamas. And we knew that uh, when Hamas will uh, fall, uh, from the, these groups and the Syrian army will take it. Uh, somehow it's related with the 14th of March and Tayyar Mustaqbal in Lebanon and they will do something in Tripoli. Members of parliament allied with March 14th say they hope the Syrian government will fall to the rebels, whom they openly support, but they expect more violence as the fighting in Syria continues. <laughs> Civilians, too, are concerned that the violence in Syria will engulf parts of Lebanon. On Saturday, residents of Tripoli held a small demonstration against the fighting, calling for a city free of weapons. We are uh, so afraid from what is happening. One day there is calm in the town, other days there is fighting. We, we don't uh, want to be for other purpose. Tripoli is uh, paying uh, much uh, uh, mistakes from other people. Some people are, uh, because of the, what's happening in Syria, they are doing uh, many things to let people uh, be involved in other uh, fights. This is not our fight. 
We are here in Tripoli. We are not related to Syria or any other country. Though Hezbollah has been largely quiet about the unrest in Syria, on Sunday, Deputy Secretary General Naim Qasim said that his group would not allow Lebanon to be used as a platform against other Arab states and praised the Lebanese government for having achieved political stability and security. David Enders, FSRN, Tripoli, Lebanon.